Hello, people, it's Poet, and today is a rainy day on the dinosaur world, but that's all right. We don't care. A little rain never got us down. That's why we always carry rubber booties with us. But in any case, I've been thinking about the new Ice Age area and what it entails, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, okay, what was that? How come there's like little particles? Huh? Maybe I'm imagining things. I thought there was little... Little white wisps coming off of Larry there. But I don't see any now. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I, I don't want to get distracted too much. Arsenio Ethereum? Are you getting bigger? They're supposed to get bigger. They're supposed to get a lot bigger. But... It doesn't look like these guys are. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay. Uh, I've been thinking about the Ice Age area and all that it has in it. And I'm thinking to myself, why don't I make, at least in the glacier area, a glacial park? Kind of like Jurassic Park Builder or something like that. Where they actually have in the glacial area or in the ice age area an actual park that they can explore and have all the um not dinosaur era creatures but like the prehistoric creatures like smilodons and mammoths and arsenio ethereums and and uh the rhinocorn you know elasmotherium and anything else that ends with therium and edium and Things like that. Like, we could make a glacial park. It could even be, like, right right here. Like, right right here. Nice, big, flat, open space. Lots of snow around us. We could make this a glacial park. What do you guys think about that? So, I want you guys to tell me what you think. If that's a good idea or not. Because otherwise, what I'll just keep trying to do is to just keep trying to like bring maybe a white mammoth, bring the white smilodon, wherever one may be. And I will keep trying to bring those from here all the way back to the main park over there. We could start working on a glacial park right here. I think that's kind of a cool idea. Um, it would also kind of be cool then if we not only just stop at that, but why not also make like a, an aquatic park, you know, we could do that too. I'm sure pigs follow me. No, I'm holding carrots. So pigs get excited. Um, but we could easily do that too. I think build some kind of a underwater walkway and just have all these underwater creatures all underneath the water but accessible by like a series of walkways and stuff do you know what I mean I'm, I'm, I'm not really describing it very well I know but like what I would want to do is let's run all the way back all the way to our aquatic area so I'm taking a shortcut more or less not really short but it's it's cutting I see an Enderman hole that I want to fill. Enderman hole. Endermen have picked this land so many times. Like this right here. That was probably an Enderman hole. Done. Fixed. That right there. Fixed. Enderman taking all my blocks. Anyway. That right there. It's got to be an Enderman. Fixed. Okay. Now, here's the aquatic right there. Now, I could make this the entrance still. Like this. Whee! Ouch. This doesn't have to change. This could still be the entrance. Maybe make this like a big atrium with like a mosasaur skeleton hanging or something. No offense to the mosasaur. There are leptic tediums down there. One, two, three. Mosasaur, you should just eat them. 
Just eat them. Just get rid of them. But anyway, that could be the entrance. And what this could be is, like, how the whole thing is. But, like, instead of digging out this, like I did, I dug out this whole area. What we could keep doing is just keep going underwater. Like, maybe make another tunnel this way and then this way. And then what we'll do is we'll come up this way. And we'll be all underwater right here. Like, over here. And there could be another Mosasaur or a Plesiosaur or something like that. There's another Mosasaur, speaking of one. There's one right there. But uh, we could do that. I mean, so then we'd have an aquatic park, basically. Those trees are new. Huh. We could have an aquatic park. Oh, are they kissing? What are they doing? The Tylosaur is clearly bigger than the Leopleurodon. At least here they are. This guy sure is. Hello. How come he's not really... Is he stuck? Hello. He's trained on something. He really likes something. I'm going to go see. What does he like? What is he looking at? Oh, he sees me now, I think. Or is he still looking at the Leopleurodon? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? He's still looking at the Leopleurodon. Like, this Leopleurodon moves and so does he. This guy wants to eat this guy. The Tylosaur really does not like the Leopleurodon. Or maybe they really like each other. There is glass there. They could see each other. Hmm. Hmm. But anyway, I still haven't found Blueberry, where Blueberry might have gone. I've looked all over the place. I haven't found Blueberry yet, so I'm still looking. I'm hopeful that I will find Blueberry soon. I'm not going to give up. And with that... Let's do, now this is something that I haven't done in a very long time, um, but I keep getting requests for it. Eh? I keep getting requests for it all the time. Is that a new equipment order? Hmm. Uh, but people want me to do a park tour. A park tour of my park. Now, I usually don't think that they're necessary because, you know, in a day-to-day -day episode, we've basically traveled the entire park. We've seen a lot. Even with my little shortcut. We've seen a lot. Don't want this Mosasaur to come after me because they will hit me in the boat. He seems okay. Um, but anyway, let's do a little tour of the park. And I really wish it wasn't raining, but it's been raining all day. Um, so anyway, here, as you can see, is the archway into our park. I'm really proud of. I think it looks really cool. I would like to improve it and maybe add something to it. I don't know what. Maybe like a texture. I want something different there. But the idea used to be that you'd come in by boat into the park. That would be the first thing you see. You would go to the little dock that was right here. Go off. Kill a... Kill a kill one of those Ooh, ooh. hi coming to take a look at what I'm doing you would get off the boat right here and then you'd be able to see some mean bluish monster warning evil have some meat um, so you got this mean bluish monster who is definitely mean and bluish there's that. And you got down here is our little aquatic area like I showed you before. You can see this guy here. There's an orthocanthus right here spinning and doing a backwards ballet. Looking pretty good. Very good. I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, he's kind of like a little shark too, I think. Got a little horn fin thingy on his head. Looks alright. This is our Tylosaur. And then over here, our Leopleurodon, of course. A magical Leopleurodon. Of course, as there is only one kind, the magical kind. 
And we got this enclosure here, which was going to have, I think, I was going to just put some coelacanth in here or something like that. I was going to put another aquatic thing in there. Something like that, Nautilus or coelacanth or, or something. So that basically is our aquatic section of the park. Over here, you've got Speedy, the Stego. You got some dodos, a sheep, and our only ankylosaur called Not Liam. Egg. Egg. So you got Not, Lee, Not Liam and Speedy, the Stego, in this little tiny enclosure here. It's not even tiny, really. They should. There should be more things in there. You come up here. This I'm gonna, I should block this off. Like, honestly, I wanna block this off. Like that's out of order, temporarily out of order. Not gonna use that anymore. This, look at all the rats in there. I mean, leptic tedium in there. But anyway, this little uh, railway Goes all the way up. Should we take it? Uh, where's the button? Button. No. No, not both of you. Oh, well. I left it behind. Oh, there was one here already. I see. Um, anyway, this was our launch pad. Where... Hey, this is some good stuff. I didn't know that any of this was here. I should take some like that, and another brick, and those, and that. And some dirt, and some glass. This is great stuff in here. That I don't really need, but I'll not destroy. Um, it used to be that there was a railway that went to the museum, but the museum is no longer a museum. The museum is a glass dome now. Ooh, it's dark now that it's raining, so I can actually get rid of the rain here. This launch pad saw way more use back when we could actually ride on Blueberry. And I really still hope that one day we can still do that. I That's my goal. That is my dream. That is my wish. That we can still ride on a Pterosaur or a Pteranodon or a Pterodactyl or something like that. Even an Argentavis or something like that would be really cool in the future. So from here you can see our giant racetrack. Built by me and MK when she came and visited my park. We built this over the course of a whole day, I think. And we used to have some Gallimimus named Squeaker and some other Gallimimus there named Tropicana. And a Creeper. And we've got our racing Ankylosaur. And when the whole racetrack goes around, you can see a big tusk or a horn or spike or something. A rib. A giant rib. Little monuments, a lava thing. It's very Mario Kart looking. I really enjoy this. And you got some dinosaurs littering the little racetrack as well. That little island used to be Raptor Island, where we used to have a little raptor on the island. I don't know where that little raptor went now. It's just gone. It's still around somewhere, I'm sure, but I'm actually not sure where it went. So there's that for that part of the tour. Uh, I really want to get rid of this rain, so I might, I might run down and use the bed. But I wanted to at least show you guys the aviary first. Boom! Aviary. With some other good stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to put the glass in there. All right. So, it's got some Confucius Soreness in there now, and Blueberry's supposed to be in here. And it, I think Blueberry escaped, which is the crazy thing. It's the craziest thing. Blueberry escaped. Ooh, there's an egg. I want it. Ah, <laughs> Every time. I gotta try them. I gotta try. The eggs are precious to me. Let's go up this way, see if there's any eggs. Any eggs over here? Mm, nope. Alright, so Blueberry went missing. I don't know where she is. 
She is somewhere, though, and we're going to find her. So this path is all being redone. There's not going to be this path anymore. It's actually going to come up this way, I believe. Come all the way up this way. Going to build like a stairway down. And it's actually going to attach right down here. If I can help it. Um, so let's see, what else? Upper area with some benches that we can sit down and look at the Ankylosaur and the Stegosaur. Just kind of relax if it wasn't raining. We got Raymond, woolly giant elephant things, and just a pig. So we got Raymond, the giant woolly elephant thing. And a bunch of leptic tedium in here. We got a, a security entourage for our woolly mammoth to protect him from Smilodon. And a pig. So that's that. Then we've got a Smilodon in here, and I don't remember this guy's name. He has a name. I know, I'm sorry, but I don't remember you. I don't see you ever. Maybe I should come visit you more often. This is its mother. Don't ask any questions. But that's its mother. <laughs> and... Oh, you want this? Here you go. If, I, if this guy wasn't sitting, he'd follow me everywhere. So there's the Smilodon, and I wanted to bring in a white Smilodon also that would be in here. Got the little enclosure, a little way that they can walk across, and then a little sleeping area, a little den. I think that looks pretty good. So they can at least play in either the snow or in the grass. You can see them either way. And another little bench. Through here, you've got our little diner and cafe. Fabe's Cafe, where he sells dino steak out of here, but he hasn't worked here in ages. So I think it's basically not, not owned by anyone. And you can see through to the Dilophosaurus from here as well, just in case you wanted to. But you can order up some dino steaks there. Sit down in our little cafe and watch the raptors go by. Because there's a bunch of raptors in here now. If we go down all the way to the end here, this used to be where the raptors were, but now they all escaped. They all of them escaped and went by themselves into this enclosure. I swear. I didn't help. I didn't help them. They all just ended up in there. And these three crates, which were full of raptors don't have any more they they have they don't have any anymore <laughs> they only have a dodo and it says raptors caution so i don't know the sign is wrong running this way now this diner here it also has a little upstairs area which i finished and it's got harry's butt inside but a hairy butt inside i didn't mean to make that joke i'm sorry um, but you can sit up here if you want. It's part of the cafe. You kind of look out over top of all the trikes. They're pretty good. Oh, Mary's over there too. Hi, Mary. Click, 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 click. Yep, that's kind of cool. And you can see the raptors from here too. So that's cool. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Eh. There we go. Should be more like up there. There, now I won't break it. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. I like it still. Although this is very dark right here. I don't want bad things spawning in here. Go through here and this way, of course. Again, you can see up close the raptors like before and also the triceratops in their little enclosure. This one still needs to be dressed up. This one I still need to work on the grass, shush, Mary. And on their little pond I need to work on. Hi. It's not Mr. Mocking Cow, it's just a random cow. Um, then we got all the Dilophosaurs. So we got the non-speedy Dilophosaurs, Gizmo, and just a non-speedy Dilophosaur without a name. And they both look very different, but they're technically the same species and if I go in here they generally want to kill me so I don't 
usually go in there. And that's why there's a double door. Yeah. They are mean. They are wicked. And they are a lot bigger than I thought they should be. But that's their size. Over here we got Esmeralda, of course. The fortune-telling dino. Esmeralda, did you know that I would be doing this tour today? Because of your your abilities of reading my... No. Well, you're just not trying anymore. Just not trying. Ooh! The rain stopped. Did you know that the rain would stop? Definitely. You see, sometimes you still got it. Or maybe they just know that rain typically stops after a while. Anyway, we got my poet house and guest services. Which I sleep in. And also if you have any questions. You can come see me at the guest services. And you got a little bookshelf. And bed and stuff. And then TV room of course. A bathroom that took. Way too long to build. It's constantly flushing. Should stop that. <laughs> ch big chest with nothing in it. And that's my house. But if you don't want to go to my house to sleep, you could always sleep at our luxurious hotel. So we got a hotel fully furnished with staff and on hand, of course. Hmm. Floor needs work, maybe. What? You're not good for the guests. Come back here. Come back. So, we got a fully furnished hotel. Let's go show you the room. Up inside the room, we got fridge, stove, countertop, cutting board, table and chairs, TV, bed area. Very nice. And, of course, a view, a killer view. So, if we go all the way up, all the way to the very top floor and go through the roof entrance, we got a swimming pool for the guests. And maybe you just want to sit down and look out over the view, which I have to admit is pretty cool. It's a pretty good view. That's what I'll show you next. So let's uh, take a shortcut here. Shortcut. So, after my house, we can see these dinosaurs. I'll show you that in a second. I want to show these first. Pachycephalosaurs. Molly and the other Molly. Hi, the other Molly. And we got Dolly the sheep as well, of course. Molly, Molly, and Dolly. And then we got two Plesiosaurs who just love being in this enclosure. Even though I release them, they come back. Mr. Mocking Cow, who mocks for a living. He's just chilling out here lately. Our little Hypsilophodon who loves carrots. Do you love carrots? Do you love carrots? Yeah, you do. I have a carrot. And our Hadrosaur. Hey, Hadrosaur. Do you love carrots too? Why are you... No. What do you mean you don't? You know? You don't like carrots? Well, fine then. I'm going to give you carrots if you don't want carrots. Looks like, looks to me like our Hadrosaur friend is having a seizure. Here. Carrot. Do you need help? Need me to push you? Why are you twitching like that? What is wrong with you? Oh! No, it's just very negative. It always says no constantly. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, wrong one. This tour is failing at the Hadrosaur who won't eat my carrot and just keeps saying no. Okay. So there you go. Little pleasy source. We got a little compy island that has little compies on it. Hi! That one's name is Donatello, because it's purple. Uh, and that is it for these dinosaurs on this side of the park. 
Man, this park is bigger than I, th than I even remember. Library. So you can come in here and read. Enchant. Read. Got some tapestries up now. That looks pretty cool. It's a picture of a time machine. Picture of just a stone column. In here we got our nether wart for potions. Don't really know why that's in the library, but it is. Up here we got our storage room. Fully stocked with everything we could ever want in our lives. Glowstone. There you go. Glass I put away. Okay. Good. Not going to do the sorting. This is our lab. Um, slash portal room. It's more a portal room now than a lab. I'm, in fact, I almost want to take out the laboratory stuff. If we go all the way up, here's a portal that leads to a very bad place, which is now blocked off. Uh, and will probably never be lit again. Ever again. But if we go all the way up, we can have another view area, which is pretty cool. A little garden up here. Where you can see all the different things in the park from 360 angle. And then we go up. Oh, you see it already. We've got another Confucius Ornus up here. Who, because we cannot move it, will always, always, always be up here. So, you know, that's the reality. Is it stuck up there? No. Is it? It can't be stuck. Oh, it's coming back down. Hi. Floating slowly. Uh, yeah. So there we go. That's Echo the Confucius Hornus who is there forever. Just taking up some space in the lab. This is Hachiko's house that he doesn't use. And that's Hachiko right there. He drools a lot. Um, our carrot garden. For obvious reasons. Because I'm hungry. And this was built after like guests would come here and be like, Where's the food? I'm starving. And I'd be like, I don't have food. Oops. So now we have food for guests. Brachiosaur, sweet tooth. Bob Littlefoot Jr. There they are. The Brachiosaurs in their big enclosure. And you can actually go up to this viewing vent and see them from up here too. Oh yeah, and another one hiding behind the tree. So there you go, a little Brachiosaur enclosure. And we got our Lasmatheriums. Both one, a white one. One, a non-white one. And... Several cows. You're going in there now. Several cows. That's fine. They can all be there. Hi, Hachiko. Pet, 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 pet. Uh, this way, that's his house. We got terror birds. So we got uh, Titanus and we got, uh, what are these? Gastornus. So we got the two different kinds of terror birds well there's more than two but we got two different kinds of terror birds here and another leptic tedium in there eh. Eh. they're annoying can I can I reach them they're just gonna run for me oh I got one it's pushing the terror bird actually All right, let's get out of here. Good enough. So at one point I had a third row and there were there was a third terror bird here, but it disappeared. It disappeared at one point and hasn't come back yet. So here's Benny or Allosaur, and he's he looks mean, but he's actually a softie at heart. Like I can go in there with Benny all I want. And Benny will be my friend. Then I got the Deinonychuses. Who are still trying to escape. But you can't because I put extra security in here. So you can try all you want. But you're not going to escape. And there's the other one. 
black and white one that you can't really see. Hi! Trying to, es trying to escape. I caught you again. Benny's enclosure. This is our Herrerasaur enclosure. And look at how big he's getting! Oh boy! Ouch! Oh! No! I just cleared out the way for you. Why are you attacking me? That's not very nice. It's not very nice at all. I was your friend. I guess I just can't trust a wild animal sometimes. But there's our Herrerasaur, and he's obviously in a bad mood right now. Yeah, what? What? What, you in a bad mood? It's not my problem. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's him, in a nutshell. I can't keep this dirt forever because Enderman will come here and they will take the blocks out and then he will escape. There's a cow. So our Herrera story is getting big and mean. But then, the biggest and meanest, well, second biggest and meanest, we got our we got our T-Rex yeah hi and our other T-Rex which is getting humongous look at how big this guy's getting hey you you're getting rather big hi why am I like in your mouth that is not safe so he's getting rather big I really like that actually Humongous T-Rex. I just wanted to take a picture. Don't mind me. Yeah. Pretty cool. Excusez-moi. Need to get out of here. Excuse you. Your butt is currently in the way. All right. T-Rex likes to be near the door. And then we got... Our Spinosaur, who we saved from trees over here, and all it did was run over there and get stuck in more trees. So, it clearly likes trees. It's staying there. It seems to like them. I'm not really going to argue with it. And that is basically the park. I mean, there's nothing much else to show you guys as far as the park is concerned. So, I mean, that's... That's the tour. People were asking for a tour. I felt like, yeah, I'll go through the whole park step by step and talk about the things. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, we can start working on the Glacier Park uh, soon. I want to hear your comments about it, whether, you, whether or not you like the idea of me building another smaller. It'll be much smaller than this. Um, but a Glacier area for our Mammoth... And smile it on. Basically a wildlife preserve, I think, will be more what it looks like. But, yeah, that should be interesting. And with that, I do have other plans, but they're coming soon. I'm going to be starting something called Patreon. Now, the reason that it's exciting is because this Patreon that I'm going to start, we're going to be building, this is my... Total announcement video. Ta-da! Announcement time. Listen up. Gather around. Hear me out. We are going to be building a NPC park. A, well, a, a NPC village. And what that means, if you don't know what NPC means, is that you guys, you, you watching, have the chance to be in the NPC village. So I'm going to be building an NPC village right here. There's going to be a little village for us to look at and play through and visit. And people from the village can come in to, and see the park. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot to mention that this is the museum, by the way, for those listening to the tour. This is going to be the museum. Just starting to build it now. There's the entrance to the museum being built. This is very dark and scary. There. This is the entrance to the museum being built. Um, but anyway, there will be a village here. And if you donate 
to my Patreon when it's up. It's not up yet, so just keep keep watch. I'll mention it when it's up. I'll let you guys know. But when it's up, if you pledge money on there to support this channel, to support the dinosaur world and all of that cr great, amazing stuff, we will actually put your character, you, your Minecraft character, your username, your person, will be in that village for us to visit and say hello to. With your name on it and everything. It's going to be really cool. And I hope that we get a lot of people supporting the channel and helping us out and filling up that NPC village. I can't wait to see what it looks like. And I might actually even put some inside of the village here, like inside of the park, you know, because why not have some people visiting the park? That would be pretty cool. Imagine seeing yourself running around the park. So that would be very cool. So that's my announcement, uh, but it's not out yet. It's going to be out soon, probably in a few days if everything goes well. And with that, we'll be seeing you guys next time on the Dinosaur World. Where... I will hopefully start work on that glacier park, or if you guys don't like that idea, maybe I'll once again try to get a smile on over to here. We'll see. We shall see. But anyway, with that, bye bye